Welcome to the DIY Honda Garage Channel. The Diagnostic Trouble Code, DTC P2651, indicates a problem with the rocker arm oil pressure switch B located in bank one of the engine. This switch plays a crucial role in the variable cylinder management VCM system, which optimizes engine performance by controlling the oil pressure necessary for the rocker arms. Proper oil pressure allows for the activation of the control solenoids that manage valve timing during different engine conditions. When the powertrain control module, PCM, detects a discrepancy between the commanded oil pressure and the actual oil pressure, indicated by the rocker arm oil pressure switch, it triggers this code. The P2651 code suggests the system is not functioning efficiently or is stuck in a particular state. Understanding this code and the associated components is vital for diagnosing oil pressure issues affecting the engine's performance. Preventive maintenance is crucial in averting issues like the P2651 code from arising in the first place. Regular and timely oil changes are a primary factor since clean oil ensures optimal lubrication and prevents clogging in hydraulic circuits. Furthermore, routinely checking the functionality of the variable cylinder management system can detect potential issues before they escalate. Maintaining an eye on overall system performance and addressing any anomalies promptly can significantly reduce the risk of encountering similar DTCs. Committing to a comprehensive maintenance schedule greatly enhances the longevity and performance of the vehicle. In conclusion, the DTC P2651 signifies a critical issue involving the rocker arm oil pressure switch B within the Honda Accord's variable cylinder management system. Effective troubleshooting requires a systematic approach from initial diagnostics to final verification after repairs. Understanding its causes and associated symptoms is essential for technicians to quickly identify and address the problem. Additionally, prioritizing preventive maintenance ensures that similar issues can be mitigated in the future. Proper handling of this code not only restores performance, but also enhances the reliability of the vehicle. The rocker arm oil pressure switch B is an essential component located on bank one of the engine. Its primary function is to detect the oil pressure within the hydraulic circuit related to the variable cylinder management VCM, system. Positioned downstream of the rocker arm oil control solenoid B, this switch monitors the oil pressure applied to the rocker arms, which are responsible for managing valve timing. The PCM, or powertrain control module, sends signals to the rocker arm oil control solenoids to adjust the amount of oil pressure supplied. A change in oil pressure directly affects the engine's operational modes, which include full operation and cylinder deactivation. If the oil pressure condition differs from the expected values, it indicates a failure, which results in storing the P2651 code. Several potential causes could trigger the P2651 code, each warranting careful inspection. First, the rocker arm oil control solenoid B might be stuck, failing to regulate oil pressure adequately as commanded by the PCM. Additionally, an open circuit in the VCMSW line, which connects the rocker arm oil pressure switch to the PCM, could prevent proper communication and readings. Another possibility includes a failure within the rocker arm oil control valve itself, thus disrupting its functionality. Lastly, oil passages may become clogged due to debris, maintaining inappropriate oil pressure levels, which would also prompt an abnormal reading from the oil pressure switch. Each of these causes contributes to the malfunction requiring thorough examination during troubleshooting. Symptoms associated with the P2651 code 
can significantly influence vehicle performance and driver experience. The most immediate indication is the illumination of the engine light, or malfunction indicator lamp, MIL, signaling an underlying issue. Drivers may also experience reduced engine performance, particularly during acceleration or under load, as the VCM system fails to engage properly. Furthermore, increased fuel consumption can occur due to inefficient engine operation, reflecting a poor power-to-fuel ratio. Additional signs could include rough idling or erratic engine operation, as the system struggles to manage valve timing optimally. Recognizing these symptoms is key for timely diagnostics and repairs. The first step in troubleshooting the P2651 code involves starting the engine and maintaining an engine speed of 3000 RPM without any load. It is crucial to keep the vehicle in park or neutral mode during this process. This step is designed to warm up the engine and allow for the activation of the radiator fan, which can indicate the cooling system is functioning correctly. By reaching such a speed, you enable the engine to operate under normal conditions, thus allowing any potential issues with the oil pressure or rocker arm system to present themselves. Monitoring engine behavior during this phase sets a solid foundation for subsequent troubleshooting steps. After idling the engine for at least four seconds, observe the readings from the rocker arm oil pressure switch. This duration allows the system to stabilize and ensures that you're monitoring genuine readings. During this step, it's crucial to check that the VTEC system is responding properly as it transitions between operating modes. Assisting and detecting if the rocker arm oil pressure is adequately managed. If the oil pressure switch continues to show unexpected values or remains inactive, further investigation into the control solenoids may be warranted. This idle observation is critical for diagnosing potential faults in the VCM system. For the third step, you should drive the vehicle on a flat road at a steady speed of no less than 12 miles per hour while maintaining an engine speed between 1,250 to 3,300 RPM for a minimum of four seconds. This driving condition simulates normal operational parameters and assesses the VCM system's functionality when under demand. Observing the performance of the rocker arm oil pressure switch during this step is vital as variations in pressure readings may help identify where the system may be failing. Ensuring that these parameters are met is essential for confirming or denying the presence of the issues contributing to the P2651 code. In the fourth troubleshooting step, employing the Honda Diagnostic System, HDS, is essential. Select the VTEC plus VCM test in the inspection menu allowing for a more in-depth analysis of the variable cylinder management systems and logic involved. Following this, execute the control delivery valve, electrically operated, B, CDVEB test, which will facilitate the examination of the rocker arm oil control solenoids operation. This advanced testing can uncover electrical or mechanical failures that may not be identified through less in-depth methods. Engaging with the HDS tool provides a thorough examination of associated parameters, critical for resolving the P2651 code efficiently. After completing repairs related to the DTC P2651, it is vital to conduct a final verification to ensure that all issues have been effectively resolved. Start by confirming that all repairs performed align with the diagnostic findings, paying particular attention to the rocker arm oil control solenoid and oil pressure switch. Once you have verified repairs, utilize the diagnostic tool to clear the DTC codes from the system memory. Post clearing, it's important to run the vehicle through its normal operational conditions to ensure that the oil pressure levels are stable Observing the system for at least one complete drive cycle 
following the repairs confirms that the error does not recur, ensuring reliability in corrective efforts. Please like and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.